Good morning, folks. We had a slightly calmer day on the sun. Solar flares continued, but the active region is now turning out of view. The plasma filaments remain stable, but we'll continue to monitor those. Flares are likely to decline as the sunspot exits. Still got them now, however, along with geomagnetic storm activity. The later storms are mostly due to the phi angle shifts. That sundiving comet we identified yesterday did not survive. It began breaking up well before the coronal magnetic field structure, strung out, and disappeared. Next planetary geometry is just a few days away as Mars and Venus are set to geocentrically conjoin. This planetary factor rides the heels of the next coronal hole, transequatorial and coming in now. Those are two top quake factors, but once more, folks, this current high earthquake index has been utterly demolished by the geomagnetic activity. These storms can help add energy to our system, but at the peak of the disruption, there are significantly fewer seismic events, and this disruption has lasted almost the entire watch period. We've only had rare location rumbles and a mid-Atlantic ridge swarm. The top story of the day, week, month, maybe more. The fracking discussion has been raging for years. One can neither deny that risks exist or that companies have gotten about a thousand times better at being safe in just the last decade. But despite vast improvements, we likely still have a significant danger from the gases released during this process. These fall mostly into the endocrine disruption category, which would be bad enough if it was just you, but that's how reproductive troubles really kick in, like infertility or birth defects with the endocrine system. Other top stories include an arctic storm that pulls from the North Pole down to Alaska, and the first winter storm warnings of the year have been issued. RSOE marks a hailstorm in Pakistan, the initial burst was bad, and then the flood event took over. Good news, bad news for Erica. The good news is that it should not be a hurricane when it hits the United States. The bad news is that it's already a killer, tropical storms and depressions can still be bad, and it will almost certainly hit land in the U.S. It's going to enter those hot waters next to Florida, so really anything could happen. Website members, today is Saturday, so we'll be doing our Fly on the Wall podcast. It and the other premium content is available on that page by clicking premium. Membership price is 30 bucks for one year. You get the hundreds of hours of material already on site and an average of 75 to 100 new hours of content each year. We've got the other storm systems over in the Pacific, the alerts in our top viewer locations, some surface and water-based temperature conditions, and then shots of our star to close. It's 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.